Welcome back to my channel, Yes Here. So today's video is a very highly requested one, highlighting and contouring for beginners. I know that it's a hot trend and I know that sometimes it may not be as easy to do. There was a time where I didn't know how to do it and it took me a while to learn. Lots and lots of practice. Practice makes perfect. So please don't get discouraged if you don't know how to do it. I hope that I'm able to help at least one person in this video learn how to do it or, you know, answer any questions or doubts that you guys have. So if you want to learn how to highlight and contour, then please keep watching. All right, so for highlighting, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I am trying to use, like, cheaper products that are just as good just because I know that if you're a beginner you probably don't want to go out and spend a million bucks on you know a product that you don't know how to use if you have the money you know go ahead but this LA Girl Pro Concealer I believe is like two dollars and 99 cents and you can find it online or you can find it at boutiques I'll definitely link it down below so this is the highlighter that I'm going to be using today well, it's not a highlighter but it's what I'm going to be using to highlight so so when we highlight the face, this is what we want to pop. So usually what we do is we're going to go ahead and focus on the under eye area here. And we're going to go like almost like a triangle. So you see, you see how this is like a triangle shape kind of. We're going to do the same on the other side. And this is also an easy applicator. And you will realize that over time, as you start using different products, you'll start to see what kind of applicators you like, or um, you know what kind of products you like, what are your favorites. So you're just gonna go ahead and go like so, which is in like a triangular motion, but like an upside down triangle. What is this, a trapezoid? I don't know, but you know what I mean. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go a little bit here on the forehead. I was gonna say chin. I'm just gonna do like a, also a little triangle here so you see it's like a triangle. And then we're just gonna go down like so. And then I would usually do up here but I already put my lipstick on so I'm not gonna do that. And then we could do a little triangle here. Just because triangles seem to work. And then we're ready to go out and um, people are gonna think you look fabulous. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, All so, right, so with a damp beauty blender, it's very important that it's damp. I feel like, obviously for beginners, you might not know. The first time that I used one of these, I was like, this thing sucks because <laughs> it wasn't damp. I didn't know I was supposed to like wet it, you know? So you basically just take it, put it in uh, water, and then wait till it like, it'll blow up, and then you just kind of squeeze out the excess water, and like, it's damp, you know? And um, every once in a while, I will spray my J&D face mist. Hold on, let me go get that. All right, and I'm back. So this is what I was talking about. Maybe you've seen in my little Instagram videos. Um, sometimes after I do apply foundation with the Beauty Blender, it gets a little bit like dull, I guess you can say. So I'll just go ahead and spray some of this. And I love this stuff also for setting my face. Just set it like that. And then what we're gonna do is just tap into our skin. So we kind of want to seep the concealer into our skin and Make sure that you did use a primer before you put on your foundation just because you don't want it to get all clogged in your pores and you want your face to look flawless, so very important. So then we're just going to go ahead and tap, like so. And like I said, once you get used to it, it'll be so easy and the motions will just like come naturally, you know? We're just gonna tap, 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 tap. And you see the difference? I mean, obviously, there was some blending then there. And then just keep tapping away. We are doing like a tapping motion, so we're not doing like a, a streaky motion, you know? We're tapping it in there to really get the product to seep in. I 
I'm gonna be doing the same down here. And the same up here. Just like that, the first step is done. Like the first step of highlighting and contouring is done. So we only have 50% more to do. All right, so now to the contouring part. For contouring, I'm gonna be using my uh, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And if you have not smelled this stuff, oh my God, it smells, it smells like I should be at the beach somewhere. <sighs> like I close my eyes and I can hear the waves. No, but seriously, this stuff seriously does smell amazing. So the reason why I chose to do powder and not cream for this video is just because I feel like when I began, this is what helped me. I didn't start with cream contour, you know, and so I will eventually be doing a cream contour video, but right now I want to keep it pretty simple. Like I said, um, this will just be so much easier for somebody who's beginning because that's what helped me, so... All right, so the point of contouring the face is, I guess, to frame it and make it a little bit, like, smaller. And just in the darker colors, there's, like, shadows and it kind of... Mm, mm. Mm, you know what I mean? So I'm going to be using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm also going to be using my Luxie Small Contouring Brush. And it looks like this. Um... There's definitely a lot of contouring brushes uh, for beginners. I would recommend something small like this just because I feel like it's better to work smaller and then work your way up as to like getting a big brush and then be like, oh my god, no, I ruined it and I have to start all over, you know? So if you have a small brush like this, um, over time, like I said, you'll start noticing what kind of different brushes that you're into. You'll be like, oh, I don't really like this. I don't really like this. So there's so many different types of contouring brush, uh, brush brushes, and you just kind of have to figure out what you like. So um, this I'll definitely link down below. So we're just going to go ahead and put some product on the brush. We're not going to do anything with it yet though. So I'm going to be using this brush to show you where you're going to contour. So what you're going to do is, I know it seems kind of silly, but you're just going to do this. Yes, like a fish. I just realized I can't talk and do that at the same time, but we're going to do that and then you're just kind of going to follow what I do. Okay, so I'm going to show you with the brush where we're going to contour on the sides. And um, so yeah. So you're just going to go ahead and follow the natural shape that your mouth does. So you see that line right there? That's where we're going to go, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and guide you with this. Mm -hmm. You see how there's that dip in there? That's what we want to do. Do you see that? So then after you've already seen where you're going to contour, you just want to go in and I go in in circular motions like this. Okay, so you see, do you see the difference between this side of my face and this side of my face? This side just looks more like, you know, framed and this side is just kind of like blah you know i'll show you the other side but i kind of want to do one side first so that you can see the complete difference we're also going to do this up here to make our forehead look like smaller so what we're going to do is we're just going to go like in there and kind of we can even pull it down here if we want to maybe not that crazy we kind of want to focus on the forehead area here so um i will be linking down a face chart because where you're going to be contouring and highlighting may be a little different depending on what kind of shape face you have. Like I have a round uh, round face, so I kind of want to do the whole thing rather than just the corners. So I'm going to go in here. And can you see the difference between this side of my face and this side of my face? I think you sure can. So we're going to be doing the same thing again. Going to the dip, 
and just kind of So we're just gonna go in circular motions, bringing it in. So you wanna bring it into about right here, like, like you see where that little dip is? So we're gonna do the same on this side. So for the nose part, the nose honestly deserves a video in itself just because it can get a little crazy and I feel like it might be too much to take in. So I'm filming that later, but for now, um, we're just gonna kind of go around the nose like this. And when I do do a video in depth, I will be using cream contour for this just because it works a lot better, but for when you're in a hurry, this will definitely do. So you just kind of go along the sides of your nose like that and then on the tip what am i saying oh my god i'm in the middle of filming and huda beauty reposted me so i'm like oh my god yes okay so before moving on to blush um i want to talk about how you choose your concealer and the bronzer that you're going to be using to highlight and contour usually i go two shades lighter and then two shades darker and then obviously um that can be just a base a platform that you can start at and if you want to go lighter then you can if you want to go darker you also can so i would just recommend you know take your foundation wherever you're going to the store and then look for two colors lighter and then two colors darker for your concealer even if it is cream or if it is powder you know just kind of like uh check it out and be like uh okay i think this is two colors darker two colors lighter vada vada you get what i'm saying okay so even though blush isn't really part of contouring i'm gonna add it in there because i know that it can be a little bit confusing like where do you put the blush when you have this contour going on so i'm gonna be using my essence uh, blush in the color autumn peach and this is like two or three dollars at ulta so I'm just going to go ahead and dab it on there. And you just want to go here on the apples of your cheeks. Yes, right here. And just kind of like. And move it up. So can you see where that kind of mixes into the contour? I know it can be a little bit confusing, but. You definitely will get the hang of it once you practice. Practice makes perfect. Please don't get disencouraged. Disencouraged, seriously. Please don't get discouraged if you don't get the first get it the first time. I remember when I first started contouring, I learned about it in school. Because I did go to cosmetology school, but we really didn't focus too much on makeup. So I would text the teacher and be like, okay, so do I put the bronzer all down? I thought I had to put it all down here. You know, and she's like, no. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna try it today. I'm gonna wait till she like shows me. And so at first it was so weird. I was like, this looks weird. It doesn't look right. But you just have to get used to it. You know what I mean? It's also like a completely different way to do your makeup than you usually would. So give it a chance. Give it a few days to get used to it. Don't get discouraged. I want to say disencouraged again. What's wrong with me? Okay, so again, right here, just kind of circle it around and then pull it up a little bit. You like those dramatic strokes I'm doing? All right. Okay, so you do want to set your concealer. So this is the RCMA Colorless Powder. If you haven't seen my baking video, I'll list it down below. It talks all about baking. Now today we're not going to necessarily bake. We're just going to set it. Yeah, we're going to set it. Okay. So we're just going to take a little bit, a tiny bit, just, you know. And then we're just going to do the same. Just kind of press it in there, you know. So it doesn't, it's not necessarily baking. We're just going to press it in there. You can also do this with the brush. But I choose to do it with my beauty blender just because I feel like it really, really gets the product in there. And I love that. So, you know, so I, like a brush, you can really get it in there if you get it with a denser brush. But I would just prefer to do it with a beauty blender. So, really get in there. And you can also do like the rest of your face just to set the rest of your face. And I'm not gonna like really highlight just because like, you know, you can kind of see a little glow in there and highlighting is a whole different topic in itself. 
so. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my J&D Revitalizing Face Mist just to set my face. Mm. I feel so revitalized. All right, guys, and that's it for today's video. I really hope that I was able to help at least one person out there who didn't know what they were doing. If you have any questions, just leave them down below, and I'll try to answer them for you. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon. I look so weird. Okay, so before moving on to the brush, what? I'm trying to film and my brother and his friends are outside being so disrespectful. <sighs> it smells so amazing. Shut up! I feel like my face is so big.